Yes, we. this is our yard waste facility in Columbia. We are presently uh, collecting yard waste from 14 municipalities, uh, roughly doing about 5,000 tons a year. We're in an area right here that has not been screened yet. It's just been deposited and um, it will end up being screened for the trash. Mm -hmm. But I thought this would be a good place to show um, the rest of the community what we have when this comes in and, and some of the contamination that we get. One of the bigger problems of the type of material that you find in the brown paper bag. Uh, the biggest thing is plastic. The biggest thing is people have a tendency uh, when they're out in the garden in the spring and, and uh, when they're putting fertilizers out and, and mulch and compost that they purchase from the, the uh, Home Depots and Lowe's, they had, have a tendency to put them plastic bags in the yard waste bags. And yeah. that's a killer. That's a killer because what happens is it destroys a large amount of material that little bit of stuff ends up spreading out because that our, our processors have a tendency to grind us up really, really small. It's shredded. So it just distributes through the whole entire piles and gets super contaminated. Here's an example. This whole pile, you can see it's littered with the trash. Right. Now, we have a screener that's going to take a lot of it out of there, but it's a lot of work and it costs a lot of money to process that. Yeah, organics, people do have a tendency to, to, to uh, put pretty much anything in a, in a yard waste bag, but organics are your grass clippings, your, your uh, flowers, dead flowers, your, your shrubs, uh, tree limbs, anything like at if all you're that, pulling, that pulling was once grown. Yeah, this is dried from last season, but you know, you can see it's plant material.